everywhere despite showing absolutely nothing and no one knowing anything about it is already being called the GTA killer. Who? Oh, but I think it's something way more. Remember Ready Player One? Everywhere is trying to do something like that and it ain't on some bullshit tip like Facebook in the metaverse. The only person I want to hear about the metaverse from is Tim Sweeney. The thing I hate most about the metaverse is how Facebook is trying to act like the metaverse hasn't existed. Like they're trying to do something completely brand new. No mark, you're just stealing another idea. Yo, what's good? You already know I'm Ken Wall and everywhere is not a GTA killer. It is actually, I, I don't know what it is. All I know is it may change gaming forever. Before we begin, allow me to give you a friendly reminder to like this video. And if you end up enjoying it here at my channel, know that I keep you up to date with the latest open world game news and video essays where I discuss other gaming topics. Other links in the description box below. Thanks, crew. I'll be long gone chilling in my casket when this happens, but I believe video games in the far future will become AI generated worlds that are crafted based on what the player wants. I feel like playing a game that's like God of War story, but with Dark Souls gameplay, that's also open world with puzzles and it's set in a fantasy world. Everywhere is damn near everything, meaning it's a multi-genre game. Everywhere will feature an open world with multiple narratives and a seamless multiplayer, which will be the hub world. Hence the name and why this game is getting the Ready Player One comparisons. The only reason why this game caught my attention is because of Leslie Benzies, the man who designed GTA Online and one of the founding fathers of Rockstar. He decided to open up his own studio, Build a Rocket Boy. Build a Rocket Boy? Really? Ah. Game Studios, y'all y'all are killing us with these names. What kind of name is that? That's almost as bad as that other studio's name, That's yeah. No Moon. That sounds like a terrible inside joke. Stick to one to two words. Seriously, as of today, on their LinkedIn, they have over 200 employees and are still hiring, which is necessary to pull off a game like this. On the official website, the description for everywhere reads, In the near future, technology has brought humanity to the precipice of a world-shifting change. There are those who want to use this technology to advantage only themselves and those who want to use it to help all humankind. Will we look to the stars or stare at only our feet? Will we be inspired? or live in fear. There's a war between good and evil in the hearts of men and women. Everything is changing and there's no going back. It's a game, it's a community, it's a new world. The storm is on the horizon and it is only the beginning of everywhere. I ain't even gonna try to speculate what that shit means. All I know is it sounds ambitious and cool as hell. So I know you're asking, when the hell can we play this game? To keep it short, don't expect it before GTA 6. Evidence of this is that in late 2020, the studio said that the game will no longer be running on Amazon's Lumberyard engine and will use Unreal Engine, most likely Unreal Engine 5, which gives me faith in this game eventually coming out. Like I said earlier in the video, obviously Unreal Engine 5, the creator is Tim Sweeney. He's talked about the metaverse and what he wants to do with it. And I think Unreal Engine 5 is necessary to create a game of this magnitude. A month ago, a French journalist shared images of the game, which is hard to tell if it is real or not since there is no source. But if it is, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Why the hell does this look like Fortnite? The reason for that is because many people seem to believe that this is the simulated world's art style. You see, everywhere is said to have two different art styles, stylized and realistic. This is not what all the game is going to look like. Again, if these images are real. I saw everyone on the thread saying, this is supposed to be the GTA killer? Like, come on. I get it, a former Rockstar employee is making an open world game, but this is not a GTA killer. It is a competitor though. I believe everywhere will be the next step in gaming because it is going to take the principles of GTA Online and multiply them. The freedom to do what you want. You want to play a single player experience? Then go to the hub world that has that. You want to play with your friends? Go here. You want to create your own world? Do that then. I really hope 
everything I'm saying comes into fruition, I'm going based off of the official details. So I apologize if some of this stuff doesn't end up being true. I'm not trying to create any false hype, but bro, imagine this being pulled off. I just really hope this gets pulled off because this is ambitious. I love ambitious ass games. And it's good to know that Leslie Benzies is in the forefront with this game because he damn near kind of created it already with GTA Online. In conclusion, tell me if you're interested in this game. I know for many, this is probably going to be your first time hearing about this game, and I would like to know how you feel about it. Sorry for taking a week off. It just news has been very slow these days. You guys already know. As always, remember to like and subscribe. You already know I'm Ken Wall. I'll see you soon. Peace.